In this video, I will show you how to set up an Arduino Uno and run your first program to blink the onboard LED. You will need an Arduino Uno, a USB A to B cable, and a computer with a USB A port. If you have a newer computer that only has USB C ports, you will need an adapter or a different cable. First, install the Arduino IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, on your computer. This is the program you'll use to write code and upload it to your Arduino. It is available for download from the Software tab of the main Arduino website at arduino.cc. Follow the instructions on the website to download the proper version for your operating system. Open the IDE after you have downloaded and installed it. When opening it for the first time, you may need to follow on-screen prompts to install updates. Then, connect your Arduino to your computer with the USB cable. After you've connected it, you should be able to click the drop-down menu that says Select Board and select your Arduino Uno. Now, let's run a built-in example program. Select File, Examples, Basics, Blink. This is a program that will automatically blink the onboard LED on the Arduino on for one second and then off for one second repeatedly. Don't worry about what's in the program yet. We'll look at that in a minute. Simply click the upload button to send the code to your Arduino. Watch the on-screen prompt that will tell you when the code is done uploading. Look at your Arduino and you should see the onboard LED blinking on and off repeatedly. Now, let's take a look at the code. Don't worry if you don't have any programming experience. Just think of the program like a recipe or set of instructions for the Arduino to follow. The light gray lines are comments. Those are intended for other humans who are reading the program, and they are ignored by the Arduino. If we scroll down, we will see a setup part of the code. This is code that only happens once. The setup section of code is followed by the loop section of code, which occurs repeatedly. These sections of code are called functions. Inside each function are commands that tell the Arduino what to do. Now, don't worry if you don't understand all of these functions or all of the punctuation, like parentheses and semicolons. That's called the program syntax. You'll learn more about those as you go along. But for now, here's a simple explanation of what the program does. First, we tell the Arduino that we want to use one of its pins as an output to control the LED. We only need to do that once, so it happens inside the setup function, which only runs one time. Then, we tell the Arduino that we want to turn that pin on, or high, which will make the LED light up. We want it to stay on for one second, so we tell it to delay for 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second. Then, we want to turn the LED off, so we tell the Arduino to turn that pin off or low. We want it to stay off for one second, so we have another delay 1000 to wait for another 1000 milliseconds. However, we want to keep doing that forever, so this code is inside the loop function. Once the loop function reaches the end, it goes back up to the top and starts over, and it does that forever. Here is your first programming challenge. See if you can change this program so the LED is on for two seconds and off for half a second. Pause the video here, try to change your code, and then press the upload button again to upload the new program to your Arduino. Here's a solution. I have changed the value in the first delay command to 2000 milliseconds, or 2 seconds. And I've changed the value of the second delay command to 500 milliseconds, or half a second. This way, the program will tell the Arduino to turn the LED on, wait 2 seconds, turn the LED off, wait half a second, and repeat. If you look at your Arduino, you should now see that the LED is on for 2 seconds and only off for half a second. Congratulations! You have just edited your first Arduino program. Next, you'll learn how to write your own program and control an external LED. For more Arduino tutorials and lots of cool projects you can do with an Arduino, 
check out the links in the video description. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.